Hello everybody, it's Yasmin here. I made it for 11, 11 a.m. Hurrah! Um, how are you? Hope you're really well. Just let people jump on. So today what I'm going to be talking about is uh, a lot of people, well actually at least one, maybe two people, but maybe more, I'm not really sure. There seems to be some confusion over the... Um, dates and times of the dark, the free dark moon ceremony and the um, new moon ceremony this month. So I just wanted to kind of clear that confusion up. And I also wanted to mention, I wanted to kind of uh, actually, um, I wanted to answer the question because some people have said, why is this a special new moon for Scorpio rising people? So I wanted to answer that as well. So if you're Scorpio rising, make sure you stay tuned. Plus, I will be doing a card. So that's basically what's going on today. All right. So um, let me start by talking about Scorpio rising and why it's important because I happen to have it on my computer right now. Okay. So here we are. This is this is a chart for uh, the new moon, which will be taking place um, tomorrow um, at... Well, actually, it's taking place at about 2 a.m., I think, UK time. But that's that's not what I need to talk about right now. What I want you to see is this. See here, that little blue thing there, that little blue thing there, that is the sign for Scorpio, okay? So when you put whatever sign you put at 9 o'clock on a chart or whichever sign you have at 9 o'clock on your chart, that is your rising sign, okay? So in this case, this is a chart for someone who is Scorpio rising. So in fact, it's a chart for someone who hasn't been born yet <laughs> because it's a chart for um, 1051, you can see there, 1051 a.m., Tomorrow. So anyone who's born at 10.51 um, in London this time tomorrow uh, or at 10.51 tomorrow will be Scorpio rising. But that's just that's a, a side tangent. I probably shouldn't even have mentioned that. Forget about that. This is a chart for Scorpio rising. And if you are Scorpio rising, your chart is laid out like this, although you have no planets showing. OK, no, I'm not going to confuse you. Oh, shall I just quickly, just quickly. OK. Uh, edit here. Look, uh, 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 uh. all right. So, I'm going to take out all the planets except the sun and the moon. So, if you are Scorpio rising tomorrow, when we get the new moon up here, see the sun and the moon when they're together in the skies. Um, actually, it'll be a little bit before that, so just bear with me. Oh, no, I can't. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, Basically, the new moon tomorrow is taking place in the sign of Virgo, okay? Now, if you are Scorpio rising, it means it's taking place in your 11th house. Can you see the number 11 there? Your 11th house. The new moon, that was when the sun and the moon come together like this once a month, because the moon just keeps going round and round and round, okay? Tomorrow, it'll be in your 11th house. Now, what does that mean? It means that... It's the your lucky new moon of the year, basically. It's your new moon. It's your lucky wishing new moon. So that is why um, tomorrow we will be having the um, we'll be having the uh, sorry not tomorrow the day after tomorrow we'll be doing a special event for Scorpio rising people because someone said to me or quite a few people said to me. If the new moon is in Virgo, why does that affect Scorpio rising people? Well, that's why, because once a year you get this new moon in your 11th house of wishes. So obviously every new moon is really important for making wishes. Um, but uh, this one is like particularly important. So what we do tomorrow is we do written in the stars for, um, for um, Scorpio rising people. And... Uh, we will talk about what it means for you. Uh, we'll talk you through your chart, what all your chart means. What does it mean that you've got Scorpio here? You've got Sagittarius here. You've got Capricorn here, all the rest. Aquarius, Pisces, blah, blah, blah. I'm always telling you you've all got, all got 12. Um, you've got all 12 signs in your uh, chart. Well, that's why. So, and then we'll make predictions. So if you're Scorpio rising and you want to come to the event to, uh, that's the day after tomorrow, then... Um, 
go to www.moonmessages.com forward slash written, W-R-I-T-T-E-N, like written in the stars, um, moonmessages.com, moonmessages.com forward slash written, and that will take you to the page where you can register. And if you're not Scorpio rising, you can still register in advance. Next will be Sag rising, then Capricorn rising, then Aquarius rising and so on. Um, and you can register in advance and then when your workshop comes up. And it's not very expensive. It's about, um, honestly, I can't remember if it's £19 or $19. But it's quite, you know, it's on the cheapish side because it's about an hour and a half a workshop. And I do it once a month. So I wanted to address that. Now, the next thing is um, here. A few people have been saying, why is the workshop when it is? It doesn't seem like it's the right time and all this. Okay, so let's talk about that. Right now, we have the moon moving towards um, the sun. Okay, so there's the moon and it's moving towards the sun. So this is now, we are in the balsamic phase of the moon. Okay, and that includes the dark moon, which is why... We are doing our Dark Moon Ceremony tonight at 8 p.m., uh, sorry, at 6 p.m. UK time. So that's about uh, six hours from now. And if you're going to be asleep, um, don't worry, you can watch the replay tomorrow. And then, now, if we look back here, the actual new moon tomorrow is going to take place at 51 minutes past midnight. So just, you know, past um, midnight tonight. So obviously we don't want to make our new moon wishes and do our intentions, etc., etc., until after the new moon, which is why the new moon in Virgo ceremony, somehow we've ended up with two, um, we've ended up with two, uh, what do you call it, um, events here. Um, but basically new moon in Virgo um, ritual here or here, whichever one you want to sign up for, they're both free and they both take place at the same time. We've Somehow we've duplicated the event. Um, and that will be, so the dark moon ceremony is tonight at 6 p.m. UK time, okay? And then the new moon ceremony is at 8 p.m. tomorrow night. And then written in the stars for Scorpio rising is Wednesday at 5 p.m. So there we go. So to me, that all makes sense. That all makes sense to me, but who? what do I know? So there we go. Um, so who would like a card? I'm going to do a card. I'm going to do a card for everybody. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to do a card for everybody, okay? So think about... Um, <laughs> That's nice, Charlene. My husband, I wish my husband would say the same thing. <laughs> just joking. Um, he's very good. Um, okay, so I'm just going to um I'm just going to uh choose a card here. Have you got a question? All right. Got a card. What's your question? Put your card, put your question in the comments. Put your question in the comments or say it out loud or write it down on a piece of paper. I have your card here. These are my new Moonology Manifestation cards. And I have to say, they're proving to be very accurate for me so far. Uh, on the weekend, something happened and I was worried and I had everything upside down. And I thought, and I asked a question which was completely wrong. Like I was worrying about something when I should have been really putting my efforts into something else. It's a bit cryptic, I know, but there we are. And I got the card saying, check your priorities. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> All right, so JC wants a card for the week ahead. Oh, that's a nice idea. Um, Alicia wants to know if Max is the one. <whistles> that sounds nice. Let's see. Uh, Marinella, meet my soulmate. What do I need to know to meet my soulmate? Heen, uh, what do I need to do to love myself more? Janet, should I sign up for a course? Well, if it's one of mine, yes, you should. Um, Eleanor, 
how can I make the most of the new moon energy? Well, come to my dark moon ceremony tonight when we're going to clear everything out and then come to that. They're all free and then come to the um, new moon ceremony tomorrow when we're going to set some intentions. Or if you're Scorpio rising, come to the Scorpio rising event as well. Someone's saying, how do you know what time your, what your rising sign is? Um, you just need to know your time, date and place of birth. And... Um, uh, you just go to moonmessages.com forward slash free chart, moonmessages.com forward slash free chart. Okie dokie. Robin, what do I need for my next step in parenting? Oh, exciting. Okay, I'm going to peek now. Oh, oh my God, this card came up. Now, don't say we're just going to keep getting the same cards again like we got last time. Um, right, I, I'm starting to get to know the cards. Of course, I wrote them, so I should know them. You'd think I'd know them, but you actually don't remember them like that. All right, so we have had this card before and we've got it again. It's the Full Moon in Taurus card, Detoxify. This is actually the third time this card has come up, Detoxify. So there's a lot of detoxification needed in the world at the moment. We must be a bit toxic right now. Um, okay, what was it? Full moon in Taurus. The book should just turn straight to it now because I keep getting this card. All right, so, ah, well, we've had this, this is the third time this message has come up. So, whatever your question is, this is your answer. You need a detox to restore equilibrium to your situation. So whatever you're asking about, you need a detox to restore equilibrium. Perhaps you've been obsessing and have fallen into a negative headspace. Whatever the case, you need to release any dramas, possessiveness and stubbornness to free everything up. Digging your heels in won't help. Neither will allowing yourself to be mean. Um, it could be a spiritual, emotional or physical detox that's called for. That's very interesting. My husband's a little bit under the weather right now and I was thinking about him, so he obviously needs a detox as well. Find a balance between what your heart wants and what is the practical next step. So I think my next practical step for him is to make him some celery juice or carrot, apple and ginger juice or something. Manifesting mindset. Your challenge now is to balance your yourself emotionally this might not be easy but it'll boost your manifesting ability far more than if you're over emotional or out of alignment and then um okay so just so in case you haven't seen them these are my beautiful cards now this is what's really special about these cards I look at my lovely moon picture hello moon um okay so avoid uh, sorry add your lang your lang essential oil to the diffuser all right so if you've got your lang your lang Put some of that in the diffuser. And if you haven't, don't worry. Just put something in that you like in the diffuser. But if you've got it, that's the um, that goes really, really well. Uh, the yang, ylang ylang goes really, really well with the Taurus energy. Okay, sit comfortably and close your eyes. Actually, we should do it now, shouldn't we? Let's do it now. Are we ready? I'll just put on some music. I'll put on some uh, um, Edor and Joe because I have permission to play their music as long as I say who it's by, Edor and Joe. Joe, Edo and Joe. All right. All right, we're going to do it together. Uh, which one? I'm going to go for the Gay Archery Mantra because that's an absolute favourite. All right, you ready? I'm going to do it now. All right, so close your eyes. I'll only do a short one because I'm going to do a dark moon ceremony tonight. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make this the theme for tonight as well. Okay. All right. So call in Hathor, the goddess of love and joy. And just say simply, we'll do this properly tonight at the dark moon ceremony. Hathor... Help me detoxify this situation. Hathor, help me detoxify this situation. There we go. There we go. We'll do it properly tonight at the Dark Moon Ceremony. I don't want to peak too early. All right, so there we go. Um, 
I will put all the links in for everything I just mentioned um, as soon as I cut off, so to speak. I'll put in a link for um, where to get your free chart if you want to know your rising sign, the links for the dark moon and the new moon ceremonies, they're on the same page, uh, the link for the Scorpio rising event if you're Scorpio rising, and um, I'll see you tonight hopefully at the dark moon ceremony. Lots of love. Oh, and a link for my new cards.